let's consider x squared minus 1 over x all to the power of 12. We're going to find the first five terms of this expansion considering that the index here is 12. Before we apply binomial expansion to this problem, this variable will move up. That is, we're going to apply the law of indices to make sure that all the variables are linear. If this were a number, I would have just left it like that. But because this is a variable, I will take it up. That is, I'm going to have x squared minus x to the power of minus 1 all to the power of 12. This and this both are the same. Now, I can apply binomial theorem. The coefficient of the first term is 12 combination 0. The next will be 12 combination 1. The third, the coefficient of the third term will be 12 combination 2. And we're going to have 12 combination 3, which is the coefficient of the fourth term. And we have 12 combination 4 which is the coefficient of the fifth term. Next, inside this bracket, I have here x to the power of 2. This x to the power of 2, I will repeat this for each of the term. Next, minus x to the power of minus 1 minus x to the power of minus 1 minus x to the power of minus 1 I will repeat this for each of the terms next I will put each of these in a bracket Next, the index here is 12. I will start with 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. And here I will have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In the first one, 12 is decreasing at the index while in the second bracket zero from zero it is increasing at the index next we're going to solve for each of these terms next we're going to solve for the coefficient for each of the terms either by using your calculator or the combination formula or the Pascal triangle. To use your calculator here, you're going to have on the calculator, you press 12, then shift or second function divide. You're going to see C on your calculator. Next, you're going to type 0. Press the equal sign and you're going to get 1. Hence, we're going to have 1 here. Next, for this second one, you're going to have 12 
second function or shift divide you're going to get c one equals you're going to get 12. if you keep changing this value because the 12 will remain constant for the two you're going to get 66 and if you have 12 combination 3 you're going to get 220 for this and for 12 combination 4 you're going to get 495 using your calculator alternatively you can use that n combination r is n factorial all over n minus r factorial r factorial you can still use it instead of your calculator for let's take this for example this is 12 combination 1 you're going to get 12 factorial divide 12 minus 1 factorial 1 factorial next you're going to have 12 times 11 factorial all over 11 factorial 12 minus 1 is 11 times 1 factorial 11 factorial will cancel 11 factorial and you're going to get 12 divided by 1 and your answer is 12 so that's how we actually got this but you see your calculator actually did this for you and you just got an answer on your calculator screen if you don't want to use this you can actually write out the pascal triangle but here you're going to get to 12 which will be really long you're going to need a plain paper probably put it in landscape form to get a big pascal triangle but if you can use your calculator or manually you can still get the same result 12 combination 1 from here we give us 12 12 combination 2 here we give us 66 12 combination 3 we give us here 220 and 12 combination 4 will give us 495 next for each of these we can remember that a b all to the power of n will give you a to the power of n b to the power of n for example if we have 5x to the power of 3 enclosed in a bracket squared this will be 5 to the power of 2 x to the power of 3 times 2 is 6 we're going to apply this to these terms next this will become x to the power of 24 2 times 12 is 24 and this will become x to the power of 22 this is x to the power of 20 and this is x to the power of 2 times 9 is 18 and this is x to the power of 2 times 8 is 16. This has 0 at the power. 
everything enclosed in this bracket will become one because any variable or any number to the power of zero is one so here we're going to have one next this minus we're going to give it to one to the power of one and x minus one in bracket to the power of one for the next one we're going to have minus one in bracket to the power of two and here we're going to have x minus one in bracket to the power of two for this we're going to have minus one to the power of three and this will become x minus one at the index all to the power of three while this is minus one we we'll put it in bracket to the power of four and here we're going to have x to the power of minus one and close in bracket to the power of four next this we're going to have x to the power of 24 multiply by 1 multiply by 1 it will return for this this minus will come out to multiply 12 and you're going to get minus 12 next this is x to the power of 22 and we're going to apply law of indices this is 22 for the x and this x is having minus 1 for this minus 1 times minus 1 will give you 1 multiply that with 66 you're going to have 66 here this is x to the power of 20 and this will multiply 2 and you're going to get x to the power of minus 2 so we're going to have here as minus 2 applying law of indices this is minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1 three times minus 1 times minus 1 is 1 it will multiply the remaining minus 1 and you're going to have minus 1 minus 1 times 220 you're going to have minus 220 this is x to the power of 18 and this is minus 1 times 3 you're going to get x to the power of minus 3. So I will here I will have minus 3. This is minus 1 in four places. Minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. Multiply that with minus 1, you're going to get minus 1. Multiply it again with minus 1, you're going to get 1. 1 times 495 is going to return 495 this is x to the power of 16 this is minus 1 times 4 you are going to get minus 4 next we're going to put each of these terms together. That is, our final answer will be x to the power of 24 minus 12 x to the power of 21 plus 66 x 
to the power of 18 minus 2 to 0 x to the power of 15 plus 4 9 5 x to the power of 12 we just obtained the first five terms for this expansion this is the first term this is the second term this is the third term this is the fourth term and this is the fifth term for this binomial expansion which we have obtained using binomial theorem to expand this bracket remember we could have continued but the question is just asking for only five terms